How's it going, everyone? My name is Azarus. Welcome back to some more spookiness. So do you remember the Evacuate mod that I played a couple months ago now? So apparently, they made a second... Well, not apparently. Uh, it's, it's right here. It's called, uh... The Slaughter. So we're just taking a little break, getting into some, uh, scariness again, you know? I like coming back to the scary mods every every now and again, you know what I mean? You know what time it is. Let's take a look at this week's fan art. First one coming in from Z-Noodle Arts. So this one's just lined up perfectly. This one is actually from Mortabox version 1 Evacuate. This is the corrupted Azerus from the intro, if you if you happen to remember it. And with her introduction to the Azerverse last video, we know that there are multiple Azeruses out there. So you can see the original Azerus putting on the corrupted Azerus's blindfold. You don't want to know what's under there, trust me. Even uh, even Azerus is saying, how about we uh, leave the blindfold on? I don't blame him. Next one coming in from Shota. Yes, you were seeing that correctly. That is a loaf of bread as Azerus. Now this is labeled Azerid, pretty much, right? <laughs> I know what they're going for, but I feel like Bredzerus. Oh yeah, that, that, that one's good. Either way, pretty dope. I like the little small breads on the side too. Next one coming in from A, it's Amy. This one again is from the Evacuate mod. Pretty good timing, right? Of course, with the corrupted Azerus with the blindfold on. Ah, I see. He says, I see, but can he actually see? We got another one coming in from Suji, and this one again is fire. Again, if the art style looks familiar, that's because it's based off of the Junji Ito style, which I find amazing. That one is also a recreation of the Vitals thumbnail, and in Junji Ito style, oh my god. Next one coming in from A, it's Amy. Creepy. <laughs> really, really creepy. And that honestly gives me the chills. That one's pretty dope. <laughs> god, I love those animations too. Dope as hell, creepy as hell, I love it. <laughs> and last one coming in from Disfazed? I think. Now, if you look way back in my videos, you'll see that I actually played the Binding of Isaac. So it is dope seeing a Binding of Isaac style Azerus. And let me tell you, that pixel art is spot on too. I like that one. For the name of this one, it's uh, Isaac mixed with Azerus. However, I I don't think I could say that. It's like eyes. Oh, Azerus. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, what am I talking about? Once again, thank you so much for sharing your artwork. I cannot express how much I love covering. I have so much to cover too. It is crazy how much fan art we got in. Either way, let's move on to the actual mod here. This mod has an intro. Also read the description before playing. I'll check it out. We, I'm guessing this is the intro. This mod contains disturbing imagery if you're not found. Of course I am. What are you talking about? This mod is brought to you by, oh, the credits. Okay. Mopple. We got Mopple pole design. We got Bam starring as voice one. Also B3 and Melody one. And of course, Mortem, the creator of the mod. Pretty dope. That's awesome. So of course, this is Mortabox version 2, the slaughter, lore coming later. Oh. That was actually a cool intro. Okay, that was cool. It reminded me of uh, Final Fantasy Freddy's. Okay. Um, we got some background noise. Sounds pretty... Spooky. Yeah. It's it's weird doing like a, a mod without lore right now. I guess we should read the description first. John has caused all of this trouble. He is the reason why we're in this mess. He is the one responsible for our suffering, and I need to stop him. I will stop him. 18 souls is all I need. I will become unstoppable. That was actually pretty cool. <laughs> Alright, that was, that was pretty dope. I don't know who this John is, but clearly he needs to be stopped. There is a messed up uh, polo over here. Alright, I don't think there is a secret polo in here. Maybe if you type in some numbers, but I don't think, I don't think there's a secret polo in here. So either way, let's start off by, uh, see, it's very hard to see those polos too. Let's start off with B1 and see how it sounds. Starting off pretty creepy. By this time, you should be well aware that this is a horror mod, if you didn't catch that by a uh, beat one. <laughs> very disturbing, very creepy. Decent beat one, though. So on that note, let's uh, move on to beat two, the sword. That was actually a nice beat. I like that. Again, very similar style to uh, beat one. Very creepy. It also seemed like his head was uh, split open. So, I can only imagine what happens to- oh, yeah, the lore. Man, I wonder what the lore is going to be about. Moving on to beat three, I'm not too sure what this is. Nice beat. You can see, like, the heart beating. That's kind of nice, yeah. The beats seem to be a little bit slower, but they seem nice. Also, uh, the pole design there. I didn't see a head. I saw a skewer through the whole body. So, uh, although the heart is still beating, so. Moving on to beat four, the clock.
Each polo shares very similar art style. I like it. And of course, you know, it's a clock polo, so I automatically like it. It seems like his head got replaced by a clock. Not something that I would want happening to me. Moving on to the crowbar, beat five. That one looks familiar. Wasn't that from the first version? I mean, overall, the beat sounded pretty good. Definitely sounded a little bit slower. All right, moving on to the effects now. I can only imagine what's gonna be in here. Let's start off with the, the hook. That right there is a damn bass. My whole like head vibrated with that. So that pole design is messed up, but it does remind me of the one SpongeBob episode when they're playing with the hooks. However, pretty messed up polo design goes along with the mod though. Moving on to the little uh, kitchen knife. Let's see uh, what this one holds. Didn't know we we're heading back to the Bells mod. I'm starting to think the polo icons are what happened to that polo, right? The first one, it looks like he got bitten, maybe. The second one looks like he got slashed. The third one, skewer. Yeah, okay. Clock replaced his head. Crowbar, hook, clearly in that one. God, the lore on these would be interesting. Moving on to the TV. A synth. I like it. Also a TV polo. So does this mean I'm going to be doing a TV intro? Uh, I figured it would happen eventually. <laughs> I guess you would already know by now, huh? It seems like a TV replaced his head, similar to the clock. Moving on to effect for the rifle. Um, I can only imagine what's going to happen to this polo when we see them. We got the whole reload in there too. God, uh, this has like a specific type of horror-esque to it. I think it might be like analog horror a little bit. I think that's what it's kind of going for. Um, This polo specifically was blacked out a lot, so it was hard to see what happened to him. But I guess we can all kind of tell from the icon there. <laughs> I hope these polos are doing all right, because I don't, I don't think so. Oh my god, wait, no, that makes so much sense. John was the one who did this to them. Hence the reason why he needs to be stopped. Moving on to radioactive. All right. Also, that was pretty cool. Did you hear like the Geiger counter clicks? Like the thing that it's used to read radiation? I like how every single other polo was like dark and kind of hard to see what happened to them. This one was like bright. You can, you can tell. Unfortunately, he did not get superpowers or maybe he did. Maybe he has like some kind of super strength along with that. I can't tell you. Let's move on to the melodies. We got the uh, mushroom, I, I think, I don't know. Um, I don't like how the mushrooms are like pulsating with the melody. <laughs> I was right with the mushrooms though. Clearly growing out of him. Similar to Vitals, right? I think Vitals had one of them with mushrooms growing out of him. Moving on to melody two. Wow. This mod does not hold back. It does not hold back at all. I'm starting to think YouTube might take this down. <laughs> I mean, if you're seeing this, then we're all good, but. However, the melody sounded nice, super creepy and lifeless polo that we just saw. So I think on that note, we're just gonna move past that to the fire, melody three. At first, I'm like super shocked on how the polos look, but then I'm like, okay, wait, this kind of sounds good though. So I kind of vibe with it. Um, that was super detailed, but you can tell that it was some kind of dirt, dirt, some kind of burnt polo. So, God, I can only imagine what John did to that one. Moving on to the not butter knife. Looks like a butter knife. <laughs> I don't think I want to know what happened to that polo. 
Although I did see like eyeballs right here, like on each side. I'm not gonna lie, this might be the most uh, <clears throat> detailed horror mod I've gone over. <laughs> like I said, does not, if this was on scratch, this would get taken down so fast. Hey, it sounded, it sounded pretty good though. Moving on to Melody 5, The Chainsaw. <laughs> Yeah, dude, that was like a slightly, like a slightly out of tune, like old piano. That was nice. I like that. For the pole design, each section was like cut off and like pulsating with the melody, which kind of signifies he got uh, <laughs> chopped up. <laughs> Moving on to the voices. Under the speaker. Okay, the, hold on. This might be good. Might get some lyrics too. <laughs> That was kind of cool though. The animation for that was pretty cool. It was kind of detailed too. I, I, I like that one. I, I think that's a pencil. Actually, I, dude, I, I'll be honest. I have no idea what that is. <laughs> Moving on to the question marks. I can only imagine what this one's going to be. Hold up. Did he say clock is ticking for the first part? It sounded like it. We got lyrics. I have no idea what they said though. I mean, the first part maybe, but not the last, everything else. Moving on to the droplets of water or, or blood. Amazing, amazing choir and it fits so well. A very disturbing type of choir that fits this really well. 10 out of 10 for the choir. I still don't know what that polo icon is. We're gonna move on to the hammer. Sounds like another choir polo. Not my favorite choir, I would say. The polo design, I mean, again, I haven't seen a non-creepy pole design in here. On that note, let's move on to uh, the final polo. Yeah, all right, pixelation. Or wait, do you think that was John? So on that note, let's uh, move on to the beats now and see how they sound together. Hey man, they might be horrifying, but that sounded good. That, that, that was a pretty nice beat. All right, so let's move on to the effects now and see how that sounds again. I feel like these are gonna sound pretty nice. wild set of effects there. The bass was vibrating my soul. Moving on to the melodies now. Let's hear it.
Yo, I'm not gonna lie, those melodies were nice. Ma like, maybe sounded like music if I was like watching a horror film. Maybe? Altogether though, great melodies. All right, moving on to the voices now. I can only imagine. Okay, that just sounds demonic. Okay, I guess, uh, you know what time it is. Let's go ahead and make ourselves, uh, creepy, sinister, beat. <laughs> sounded pretty damn good. I do feel like there's some polos that were definitely quieter than the others. Like the one with the um, lyrics, the only lyrics in here sounds very quiet when putting that one in a mix. And then this uh, choir right here, uh, I really liked it, but it was very quiet. And I think when I'm making the mix, like for the intro, I'll probably use those, but just enhance the the audio a bit for those ones. But uh, you would already know that. Either way, pretty damn good mod scary creepy definitely does not hold back with some of the pole designs yeah like it kind of gives me like an analog horror kind of feel as you can tell i really enjoy the horror themed mods they're 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 nice just like every single mod i do want to know what you guys think about this so leave it down in the comments if you would if you would
if you don't mind, you know what I mean? I do have to bring something up. It is, uh, we're almost at 20,000 subscribers, which is, uh, crazy. Dude, I remember when we, like, just hit 1K. Oh my god. But, either way, I do want to thank the members of the channel and also the people who have joined the Discord. It has been nice and chill. If you want to join, it'll be down in the description. But I also want to thank you for watching. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed, because I surely did. And I guess on that note, I will see you guys in the next video.